There's certainly a need to continue to develop and enhance sustainable sources of energy and power. Well, how about pendulum power? That's a concept that has been championed by a Cuyahoga Falls man who has brought his decades-old idea to fruition. And with it, we now have the Feltenberger Pendulum that operates on the age-old theory of gravity-assisted power. They've done notable things so far with plenty more to come. Jennifer Boras now gives us an up-close look at the Gravitational Energy Corporation that is not doing business as usual. We hear a lot about different types of sustainable energy, like solar and wind, but we're at a company here in Cuyahoga Falls, and they're using this pendulum behind me to make Northeast Ohio the center of gravity, and it is definitely not business as usual. Bruce Feltenberger had a vision decades ago for his current company, Gravitational Energy Corporation. Back in 1965, as a young man, I visited a planetarium in Pittsburgh where they had a giant pendulum on display. Uh, and it was just sort of a scientific display. Uh, but it, it really captured my imagination. And I thought, you know, there might be a way to use something like that uh, to actually produce work. So that's where the idea was born. The company was formed a few years ago to develop and commercialize this technology that he envisioned to harness gravity's effects without using a waterfall. The first tangible example of his vision began with this relatively small prototype. And it's actually the results of this prototype uh, that encouraged us toward uh, moving forward with developing the technology. Gravity-assisted power is a term that we use to describe the effect that our machines produce. But in truth, gravity-assisted power has been around for centuries. Uh, right here in Calga Falls, we've had water falls uh, that at one time, uh, I believe, powered grist mills and then small machine shops and that sort of thing. What our form of gravity-assisted power uh, does is it, it enables us to be removed from a source of water and still get the benefit of gravity. A model like this one was actually brought to Haiti after the major earthquake last year to help provide residents with fresh water. It's very easy to start. It's a little like pushing a child on a swing. It takes a little effort to get it going. And you'll notice that the, the more you push it, the easier it gets to operate. The movement of the hand-operated pump determines the speed of the pendulum which creates the momentum needed to pump water. Up to 1,000 gallons of water per hour. This water can be sent through a filtration system, making it clean enough to drink, or it can be used to irrigate fields. The water can even be turned into electricity to recharge batteries. So you can recharge batteries for working LED lighting systems, or tools, or even golf cart sized batteries that can be taken back to their huts and power LED lighting systems in their hut. Our hand operated pendulum pumps are uh, at least predominantly targeted for third world countries. Uh, they don't swing. require electricity, they don't require fuel. Uh, it's strictly hand operated, which means if the sun's not shining, you can still produce drinking water. Bruce says it feels good knowing his invention is already helping so many people. I spent a lot of years in the making and to actually uh, envision a machine, build it, patent it, uh, do all the things necessary to get to a commercial machine and then see that it's doing people a lot of good, uh, it was almost overwhelming. Yeah, I, I was really thrilled with it. Even the military is approaching the company to discuss using these pumps out in the field. They're extremely interested in using machines like this for um, the uh, soldiers maybe in the Middle East area. Uh, and. Uh, because it, it can potentially solve a lot of problems providing clean water not only to the soldiers but also when they pull out of an area the idea would be to leave it behind for the people there. He says it would help them cut down on the cost of bringing water to the front lines and also allow them to begin pumping water immediately from any available water source even if that source has been sabotaged. The company also held a public demonstration in Cuyahoga Falls a few months ago to get the word out and show people how easy the pump is to use. The public came out in good numbers and uh, lots of different people got to operate the machine and uh, many people were remarking uh, that, that the volume of water we were producing, they were saying, this doesn't seem like I'm working that hard. Uh, and so, of course, that's what we wanted to hear. Getting to this point with this company, however, hasn't been quite so easy and he's had some struggles along the way mostly in the form of financing. Uh, as an entrepreneur, uh, there's all kinds of things you want to do, and uh, uh, my partners and I uh, pretty well exhausted our own resources, and you know, so it slows you down at times. 
uh, but uh, th that's probably the biggest challenge. Despite some hurdles, Bruce believes in his company and the potential it has to help people around the globe while creating income right here in our region. I think first of all we're introducing a brand new concept to the world. Uh, we're saying here's an opportunity to let gravity help us do work and to that degree if you can seriously reduce the amount of fuel required to produce electricity then I think it's not business as usual. There's going to be a demand for these machines and we're going to start filling up machine shops uh, all around the Northeast Ohio area. On a much larger scale, the company has created another prototype machine that produces electricity. We developed the water pump as a way to uh, help us through and uh, earn some money, but the primary focus of the technology is for generating electricity. It's an 18 foot long pendulum weighing in at 18,000 pounds. And it's operated with a compressed air system. The pendulum with our device is going to be pumping the hydraulic fluid, which will in turn generate electricity through a hydraulic motor and a generating system. You can hear that puff of air in the background right now. That's two tenths of a second of 80 psi air swinging that pendulum back and forth every five seconds. Bruce says he is currently negotiating with a fairly large Ohio company to form a joint venture to work with them on adding equipment to this giant pendulum, which will allow them to produce a significant amount of energy and accurately measure fuel use. And it helps us to keep up with energy demands uh, without increasing emissions. That's how I see it. I think that could be a big win for everybody. And it all started with an idea back in 1965 on a field trip that many others also took. The difference is that Bruce saw something that no one else did, and he never forgot it. Right now, this is the only place where the machine you see behind me exists. But in the future, they're planning to build much larger models that can provide enough electricity for 1,500 households. In Cuyahoga Falls, I'm Jennifer Boris for Western Reserve PBS.